Here's the details now from Paul. And if you're planning on being in a car over the next a couple of hours, probably the most dangerous of the weekend here, and I'm talking about 7 till 9 o'clock tonight, there's going to be a band of heavy snow pushing through near whiteout conditions and gusty wind with it as well. Could drop 1 to 2 inches very rapidly this evening, uh, covering up the region. That's the Arctic cold front that's going to plow on through and behind it, much colder air, so big trouble with cold temperatures as we go into the weekend. The next 40 hours as we go through this evening into Sunday morning, the coldest uh, 40 hours we've had all winter long. Let's take a look at temperatures right now. Yeah, I know it was cold today, uh, down close to zero. I had below zero going home last night in spots, but now temperatures in the upper teens, close to 20, uh, but that will fall rapidly this evening as a cold front moves through, and that's going to drop these uh, wind chill readings that are currently near 20 or six at the airport, well below zero. That's why that wind chill advisory is in place for the entire region. Uh, through early Sunday morning. Now let's talk about the snow quickly before we get to those colder temperatures. So far the snow has been pretty light this afternoon, but just starting to see more snow enter extreme northwestern Trumbull County from Mesopotamia on over uh, toward green north of Mosquito Lake. The heavier snow still just to our north this evening, moving in along I-90 here from Cleveland and uh, notice those bright white colors. That is intense snow and it just continues to fire up ahead of a cold Cold front this evening that's dropping south of Lake Erie behind this cold front as you would expect much colder air the coldest of the season that will ride on in over Lake Erie later tonight and that means a lake effect snow fires up uh, behind this cold front as the evening goes on so I want to spend a little time here to talk about how this evening will shape up and how your weekend shapes up eight o'clock tonight this is the heavy snow band seven to eight o'clock across Trumbull and Mercer counties Mahoning County eight to nine o'clock uh, 730 to 8 o'clock to the northwest and dropping toward 9 o'clock here as you get down into Columbiana County. This will be heavy snow, 1 to 2 inches quickly with some gusty wind. Then we get into lake effect as the night goes on. And I want to talk about this lake effect tonight because as you know, these lake effect bands are like fire hoses spraying back and forth. If you're underneath one of these as the night goes on, could see anywhere from four or five inches through tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, the same thing. One to three inches if you get stuck underneath one of these outside of the snow band. Just cold and blustery with some blowing snow. Watching a few of these connected up to Lake Huron. Mercer County having the best chance of seeing the heaviest snow out of this lake effect event as we go into tomorrow. So let's talk about the forecast again this evening. Snow develops ranging from one to three inches through morning. Some spots up to four or more, especially underneath those snow bands into uh, tomorrow. Temperatures tonight going to drop towards zero. Yeah, wind chills dropping to 15 below zero through morning. Snow likely, especially this evening, becoming a little more scattered as the night goes on. Tomorrow, nine, another inch or two up to three or more in the snow belt, but windy and cold. Those wind chills dropping about 20 below zero into tomorrow night. Your actual air temperature falling to four below zero tomorrow night, 16 on Sunday. The weather does improve and the temperatures next week into the 30s. Watching a storm Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. It looks like the bulk of it goes east, but keeping an eye on the track much warmer a week from today. 42 your high temperature.